And he starts like hopping towards me. He's like, what's up? What's up? And I'm like, the fuck? Is that gonna fucking hit me? I'm not thinking that he's gonna hit me. Yeah. He comes up, fucking dips and does like full overhand. Oh and I'm like, oh shit. So I go in and I roll out and I fucking, I, I stuffed the shot, but then his, either his chin, his head, I don't know what it was, but it hit my eye. Uh, and so this eye just goes fuzzy. It's like the, you know, like the TV where it's just black and white, it just fuzz. Yeah. Uh, so I couldn't see out of his left eye. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Let me tell you something. Three years of boxing. In five, four, three. Why did I do it this way? It's so hard. <laughs> three, two, one. Damn, that's really yeah, hard. No. It's awkward as fuck, bro. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ow. This is how Korean people do it though, right? Yeah. They go they say. Yeah. No, they go, they go one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, come on, man. Like, don't so do it like that. Scary, man. <laughs> so here we have today, by a, a high request, we have Ed and Ed. The universe <laughs> and the worlds collide the, once hey, again. Hey, hey guys, close your eyes. And then if we talk, which Ed is it? Hi. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going? up, guys? My name's Ed. You guys have two very different voices. <laughs> okay. What the fuck are you talking about? I know. <laughs> I mean, we were both smokers too. So, yeah. Did I tell you guys what happened? Like, uh, so I went to Hawaii, right? But uh, but like a couple of weeks before that, some dude fucking attacked me outside of my gym. What? what? Yeah. So like on on my uh, story, I just kind of. So here's the thing. I didn't want to talk about it because there's just a lot of weird. I don't want to add to a pool of something where people can take a story and then turn it into something else, right? right? So because every time somebody who's Asian now gets attacked by somebody, it's like, oh, they attacked you because you're Asian. Mm. And this wasn't the case, right? Yeah. So I was outside of my gym in South Pasadena. Well, where the gym is located is actually right next to Highland Park. The area is really nice. And I love that gym. The gym is fucking dope. But right outside of it, because it's next to Highland Park, every now and then you'll get some crazies. And just recently, a lot of people have just been dealing with a lot of insane, like either homeless people or drug addicts. I don't know what right. pandemic did, but they're all coming out the fucking woodwork, right? <laughs> they migrated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're fucking all over the yeah. place, right? So all these spots that we, you know, seemingly thought it was relatively safe is not the same as it used to be. So I'm in South Pass. South Pass, if you guys don't know, is a very, very fucking uh, affluent neighborhood. And so I'm, you know, getting my boxing shit. And for some fucking reason... So the way the parking lot is set up, there's like this half brick wall. Uh -huh. I hopped over the brick wall and I started walking out this way. Usually I just go through the parking lot, but I, for some reason, went on the outside. And I see this dude walking up. He's kind of just like, you know, walking kind of fast, whatever. We're going the opposite way. And he fucking shoulder shoves me like with his shoulder really fucking hard. What? And I just turned around. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? That's all I said. Yeah. Right. Which is warranted. Yeah. I didn't say like, fuck you. I didn't curse him out or anything. I'm like, yeah. yo, what the fuck? Yeah. And then he says some Asian joke about like eyes or some shit. He was like, watch where you're going, small eyes or some shit. Oh. And I'm like, all right, whatever. And I'm at this point, I'm not even mad. I'm yeah. just like, whatever. This guy's a fucking nutbag. And when I said the, I'm sorry, the what the fuck came after the, the, the joke. That's what happened. So he shoulder bumped me. He says the Asian joke. And I'm like, what the fuck? Uh. He turns around and I'm like, okay, like what's this guy going to do, right? Yeah. Guy's like, I don't know, like maybe five foot ten, some shit, a little shorter than me. It's just like some Mexican dude. Uh -huh. How old about? He probably was like in his mid 20s, maybe early 30s, okay. but he wasn't old. He was young. Okay, yeah. so maybe 18 actually. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the drug. He had a full mustache. <laughs> yeah. He had his kids around him. <laughs> but the guy comes up and he's like, what's up? What's up? And I'm like, uh, okay, whatever. Mm. And the guy just like, he's not that far from me at this point because he shoulder bumps me. So he's like probably my distance from like me to you. Yeah. Maybe a little bit further. And he starts like hopping towards me. He's like, what's up? What's up? And I'm like, the fuck? Is that going to fucking hit me? Yeah. I'm not thinking that he's going to hit me. Yeah. He comes up, fucking dips and does like a full overhand. Oh and I'm God, like, oh man. shit. So I go in and I roll out and I fucking, I, I stuff the shot. But mm. then his, either his chin, his head, I don't know what it was, but it hit my eye. Uh. And so this eye just goes fuzzy. It's like the, you know, like the TV where it's just black and white. It just fuzz. Yeah. So I couldn't see out of his left eye. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Let me tell you something. Three years of boxing and kickboxing. Now is the time for me to fucking light this guy <laughs> yeah. up, right? I've been waiting for this moment yeah. my whole life. Yeah. I use none of it. <laughs> I was literally expecting this to go, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Hit him with a, him with a two piece, you know? <laughs> Dude, let me tell you what I did. This is what I did. I fucking, I'm dizzy because we knocked heads. And so if you guys have never been hit before, it's not like in the films where you get socked in the head and then you just eat them and you keep going. Yeah. You get hit by a shot you don't see. Those are the shots that knock you out. So I'm a little like combobulated and I see the fuzzies in my left eye. I just fucking reach out for them and I 
choke him. I choke him with my left hand and I start shoving him towards the wall. Yeah. And I smash him on that half wall, like yeah. his back. Yeah. Yeah. You're barbaric. Yeah. And then I turn that, around. That, that's the move though. And at this point, this is where I fucking whoop his ass. Bro, I just opened palms, started slapping him. You know what it I started checky slapping the fuck out of him. Just bow, yeah, bow. See? No scream, no grunt, no nothing. Like a serial killer. Mm. Like, here's the thing. I was literally slapping this dude like I was a pimp and this fool wasn't tricking enough for me. Wow. And so I start just unloading. Bah, yeah. bah. And I had a, a, this Nike black windbreaker on because I use that when I want to sweat when I'm boxing. So he was like trying to grab at me and shit. But luckily I had my jacket on. <laughs> so he just sounded like a fucking, you know, like a DJ. Just, yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> just like scrap. I just kept slapping him over and over until he started going limp. His fucking mouth was bleeding and shit. Mm. He was screaming, and I just picked him up. I literally grabbed him by his fucking like shirt here, grabbed him by his pants, like the, the <laughs> his pants. He did the one of those. And I Phil? fucking shoved him <laughs> away. You, like, you did an Uncle Phil too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Toss him like he was jazz from the Fresh yeah. Prince of Bel Air. Yeah. Chuck him. He gets up. He's stumbling. He's like, I'll fucking kill you. I'll fucking murder you. You don't know who the fuck I am. I'm a fucking captain. He's saying all this crazy shit. I'm like, fuck you. And, you know, and, and that's really about it. And I'm sitting there just this adrenaline just running through yeah. me, right? My fucking hand. It felt like the uh, like an Acme cartoon, like it was pulsing, <laughs> yeah. like it had a heartbeat. My fingertips hurt like a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> it's it just like because yeah. 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 I slapped. I, I think I slapped him maybe seven or eight times, but it was enough yeah. to where he got dizzy, where he couldn't even like start scratching at me anymore. But the guy's like stumbling away, mm. and like I, I, here's the fucking funny thing, right? So after this is happening, I'm sitting here just like, what the hell happened? I'm sitting on that little brick wall, just kind of chilling against it. This guy is just screaming, still cursing at me. But I'm like, this is a crazy person. Yeah. He's literally crazy. This isn't like an Asian attack type of thing. I just happen to be Asian. He's a psychopath. Yeah. And so I'm sitting against this wall and this lady in this older uh, BMW X5 does like this U-turn, turns around. She goes, I saw everything. Are you okay? And I look <laughs> at her. I'm like, you didn't call the cops? <laughs> like you just saw me get assaulted? You didn't call the cops? She's just trying to get a world star. <laughs> yeah. she, she was in a car. No. World star. With the windows open. Yeah. Hey, I would I would have loved that. Yeah. I asked, I was like, did you record anything? She goes, I, I didn't I didn't get my phone off. I was like, so you just watched me get assaulted? She was just in her car with her mouth caped yeah. open, like, oh Yeah, she just watched this whole thing go down. Yeah. Didn't call the cops for me. I was like, come on, man. But, but to her credit, she probably got shook seeing something oh, for like, sure a lot of times when people aren't um used to that type of thing and they it's see like that bystander effect yeah it's like oh what the fuck is happening right now i but just remember like, i was like you didn't call the cops <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, but the, the like funniest it. shit about the story is how you're talking about all those you know training that you've done <laughs> and everything you just defaulted to pure rage <laughs> and just yeah. like choke and slap and that. you were on your way <laughs> for to box. the boxing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, you, my, did you go in the gym like <laughs> dude like is this even useful now I, I just went into the bag I held the chain and yeah. I just started slapping the bag <laughs> no but I think I think that's the difference though it's like you know when you're doing that type of stuff it's more so exercise unless you're actually like doing it like you're fighting then it becomes kind of second instinct to you, right? Or second nature. Yeah, but it was not second nature for yeah, me at all. Yeah, otherwise, uh, just get... Because I've seen Dave get mad, and I've seen this move. I've seen <laughs> oh, this. he's actually seen this. Yeah, I've seen that. this. Oh, I've that's seen, right. Yeah, okay, I've what's, what's the other time? What's the other time? So my brother and I got into a fight, yeah. and he was just belligerent as fuck, and I literally choked him, and I did the same yeah, thing. It's my go-to move. Yes, wait, yes. Did you do that to Jason, too? I slapped the shit out of Jason, too. <laughs> It is your go-to. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's I thought the story was going to be the Jason story. <laughs> that's right. You yeah, saw it. Yeah, it's just something about choking somebody yeah. and slapping the fucking shit yeah, out of them, I guess. Yeah. dominance, man. You know I'm the mean? alpha. <laughs> yeah, I'll put the wheel. That means who's your daddy. Yeah. 
<laughs> <laughs> that's fucking oh, funny. I, yeah. I completely forgot about that. So that's like the second or third time I've done that. Yeah. I, I don't know what it is, but that's like the go to assault thing. It's it like, works. Yeah. Because well, I, I, I think, you know, for you, you, you're a bigger guy than most people, I think, realize. Right. And then so you definitely have that strength too to like kind of push somebody when you come with yeah. that, that raw force with the chokehold. And then once you got them in this, what's the most natural move? <laughs> what follows that? Right? It's like it's like us getting beat by our parents. It's like maybe, yeah, maybe that sub- open hand. Maybe subconsciously, you knew that if you balled up your fist, you would have done some real damage. Maybe. Yeah. Either that or that was the original beatings my dad used to give me. That's, That's what I'm saying. It's That's what I'm down. saying. It's my first martial art ever. Yeah. It's yeah. like <laughs> ingrained. <laughs> It's he like, didn't even know he was teaching you. Yeah, <laughs> that's Dude, what it's the the flashback in the film. <laughs> because because if if that because think about it if if the slap was like inspired from shit we saw in like media then we would also backhand. Yeah, but, yeah. We, but we've never been backhanded by our parents. It's oh, always 100%. the open slap. So, oh my yeah, you gosh! Know? I always wonder too. It's like. <laughs> I wonder if it's that uh, you know that the Karate Kid moment where he had him like paint the fucking <laughs> yeah. fence. <laughs> He Mr. Miyagi, you bro. Yeah. And I just started slapping the shit out of him. Yeah, I was like, God. oh, this this fucking works. Yeah. But that's so f- I hella forgot about yeah, that shit. Bro. You were there. Yeah, I was there. And and I was just like, you know what? I Dave Dave's upset right now and he needs to get it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna come in after <laughs> after he gets some of this out. Cause if I try to do it now, he's not gonna listen to reason. Yeah. So he did this, got a couple of this. I said, all right, Dave, that's enough now, man. <laughs> Dave's like Right. That's wow. right. That's so fucking funny, dude. Yeah. I hella forgot about that. That's your move. Bro. That is yeah. my go-to anger move. Yeah. Now people know my fucking signature move. They're gonna yeah, stop they're it. Gonna it's like the big show. Yeah. Just give one of these. Yeah. Let them know it's coming. Bro, now everybody's just gonna grab my hand like this and block it. Yeah, no. And then I don't know what to do anymore. I'm like, you stop my ultimate move. Dude, but you know shit like that does happen in Pasadena. It that similar situation happened to me before where I was in my car and then um, there was a, I was stopped at a crosswalk, but then there was a cars next to me. And so I couldn't really see to the left. And then so I kind of pulled out a little bit and then people were walking across the street. And then I, I was kind of like in the middle of the crosswalk. Right. Yeah. So I was like, Oh, sh- I apologize. I said, oh, my bad. You know? Um, and then as I'm turning, I hear something hit my car, oh. like a loud, like, ding. Mm-hmm. and I'm like, what the fuck? So I parked my car. And then I come out and then I realize somebody threw something at me. And all of a what? sudden, this fool starts rushing at me, you know? What? And then he's, he's like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? And then like, we basically get into like a tussle. We're like wrestling and shit. Yeah. And then uh, I think somebody in his group like came and then uh, she's like, stop. You guys need to stop. What's going on right now? Please don't do this. And then I'm like, what the fuck just happened right now? And this guy, like, while we we're in wrestling, too, I was wearing a hat. He grabbed my hat and he threw it. <laughs> He's like, hey! Wait, wait, <laughs> and then it was just, he was drunk. You know? Oh my God. Yeah, he was just drunk. And I don't know. Like, I guess it really pissed him off that I was kind of halfway into the crosswalk, even yeah. though I apologize. Like, hey, my bad. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, this was in Pasadena, Old Town Pasadena at that. Which is a relatively nice area. So there is that one place too. You know, have you been to that place called? Uh, I think it's what. It's not IX. I think it's Roman numerals, but Tapa. It's oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. That yeah. place gets fucking ratchet, dude. Oh, red does it? Yeah, I saw this dude. <laughs> I saw this guy. He was like a guy about. I mean, like your height. I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm in the car. It's about your height, but this guy. Uh, I know he's like a trained kickboxer because I've seen him in the gym. This motherfucker is a big dude, mm. and this little dude comes up to him mm-hmm. and. You just, I don't know what the altercation was about because it's been been a while since I told the story, but he was just like yelling at him. You could see him just pointing at the big dude or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And he either slaps him or hits him, right? And then you see, or shoves him. Uh-huh. And then the big dude is kind of like smiling. And I'm like, oh shit, he's gonna fuck this guy up. Because <laughs> he doesn't know. Yeah. He doesn't know this is a fucking train killer. Yeah. You know, and the guy looks at him and he's just like mouthing off fucking low kicks this guy uh-huh. with full fucking force wow. collapse does he, does he do one of these where he his co- body goes sideways he, just, he crumbles falls to the floor and all you hear is ah! 
I'm like, Charlie Orson. I'm like, the worst thing he could have ever done is like a Muay Thai guy, and yeah. the guy just fucking kicks the living shit out of him, dude. The yeah. worst thing that could ever happen. Well, Man. that's how you know you're in trouble if you did something physical to somebody and then they smile back at you. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's how you know. That's all the right. ultimate death move. All yeah. Right. It's like, all right, something's coming. All these stories kind of is a wake up call for me because I was on the other side of that this week. <laughs> Oh, really? I was in a parking garage and I'm waiting. You know, it's it's fully <clears throat> packed and this giant truck is getting out and I'm trying to turn in since it's a free space finally. But as he pulls out, a car comes up behind and just immediately goes in and takes a spot. And I was waiting for a good oh, minute or two. Dude, right? That's the worst. I meet, I get out of my car. I walk up to this guy. It's a Honda Accord. And I just bam, bam, bam. I knock on his window hella hard. And he rolls it down and I say, don't be a fucking asshole. I was waiting there for a while. You need to get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of the spot right now. Uh -huh. Yeah. But I'm looking at him and he's like a six foot some big white dude. <laughs> and in my, I didn't think about any of this. I was like, get the fuck out of this spot. Yeah. And then he goes, I'm not an asshole. You're an asshole. And I was like, get the fuck out. And I go back in my car and sit and wait. And I'm like, holy shit. I don't know. Like that guy <laughs> Fuck me up. <laughs> yeah. You're like he was a gentle yeah, giant. Bro. Yeah. That's such a funny reaction. I'm not an asshole. You're an <laughs> asshole. I think that's the thing about David too. Maybe because you're big. But it, the other thing about big people, sometimes when they get bullied a lot, it's probably because they're also unassuming. This podcast is brought to you by Babbel, my friends. For most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our lives. Malamo es muy gordo, es muy feo. That's me, mucho. That means, David, you are the mayor of the town. Well, if you want your Spanish or whatever language you want to learn a lot better than mine, you're gonna need Babbel because honestly, learning on Babbel makes learning a second or third language super easy because it makes sense. Babbel's 15 minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. I do it whenever I'm pooping or right before I sleep and it's honestly the best. Learning a language should be about practical usage with real world conversations and applications in mind and that's Babbel. Here's the coolest thing about it too. They have speech recognition technology that helps you to improve your pronunciation Asian and accent, which is muy importante. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com and use promo code GB. That's an extra three months for free. Babbel, language for life. <laughs> that always happened too because number one, the softest, biggest guy always makes the weaker, stronger, weaker person look better. Yeah, so right. So they yeah. pick the soft, big guy, and they always was try to you know pick on you yeah. because they would have the trophy of oh, I beat up a guy twice my size. Yeah, yeah. But it's like you just picked on a really soft dude. I I had a similar situation. Well, I mean, like, so I I bought a air intake for my car because you know you know that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and um. I was just changing it in where I used to live um, in the parking lot. It's an open parking lot. It's not like a garage or anything. And um, I didn't know that there was a rule against working on your car in the lot. You have to take it out because they don't want oil spills. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, I'm taking out the old box. And by now, there's just a big hole now in the middle of my engine bay. And then the property manager comes out. And then he's, he just starts going 100% at me like, hey, you can't do that. You can't work on your car. I'm like, well, wh why not? I'm just changing the air filter. <laughs> and he goes, I, I, gotta, I got shit to do. But when I come back, I don't want to see you working on that car. All right? Stop working on your car. So I'm like, all right. And then he leaves. And I'm looking at my car. And there's a big fucking hole. I'm like, well, you know, I can't just have a hole in my car. You got to fix it. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to go back to my old air filter. I'm just going to keep going. Yeah. Right? And sure enough, he comes back and he goes off even harder. Like, what did I say? What did I say? Huh? <laughs> like, I told you, you can't work on your car. I'm like, hey, man, it's just an air filter, right? It's like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. It sucks in air. It's like, you have one in your car, too. And he goes, <laughs> I know mechanical engineering. You're working on your car. <laughs> I'm like, this isn't going to spill oil. It's right? an air filter, guy. It's an guy. air filter. And then he goes, I I'm going to call the cops. 
<laughs> Sounds like a white guy to me. Yeah. So I walked up to it. Like, I got in his face this time and I said, you should do that. You should call the cops right now. Call them. And then he goes, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm like, that's this is your idea. You said you were going to call the cops. Right? That's so fucking funny, <laughs> like, dude. I don't want to see any oil in here or whatever. And then he's like, you can't yell at me. And I was like, you can't yell at me. Right? And, and we're just yelling at each other. I see other people yeah. walking around seeing this all go down. Mm. And then I'm like, what is your problem? Yeah. Why are you doing this? Yeah. And then he goes, because I can. You oh, know? my and, God. And I was like, look, you don't have to be a dick about this. Right? And he goes, I'm not a dick. You're a dick. <laughs> this guy has like no tricks up his sleeves. He didn't, he didn't think past the yelling at you. Yeah. So uh, I'm not crazy. <laughs> so I'm like, You're crazy. Like the pure, this is the thing too. When I was in Hawaii, I got kind of upset because, and I understand too, because, you know, locals are really irritated at other people, but because this, it was so impacted in Hawaii, they were just sick of seeing tourists, right? Mm. <clears throat> so went to a, a basket robins just to get some ice cream late at night. So on the floor, there's COVID stickers, right? Mm. So where you're supposed to space yourself. Yeah. Me and Mariel are on a COVID sticker. Our friends, Sean and Nancy are another COVID sticker. And so are our other friends. And this guy, this, you know, this older, he's like an older Japanese dude, but he's like a local. So he kind of speaks in pigeon a little bit. And he's just like, I'm trying to leave guys, right? Can you move? And I'm like, but you're not on a sticker. <laughs> I'm where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. I'm socially distanced and I'm on a sticker. You have to go the other way. What the yeah. fuck are you thinking? And and then afterwards, uh, a couple of our friends who didn't want ice cream, they were outside. And this guy was just going on a rant like, these guys, it's COVID. I fucking hate these people. They're not even letting me out. They're, they're blocking the door. And I'm like, no, we're on the sticker. You're actually wrong. You're not abiding by the fucking rules. Yeah. But the thing is, it's like in my head, I'm like, if you would have just said, hey, guys, can I get by you? You would have got the same result. You didn't have to yell at anybody. All you had to say was, hey, can I, can I, can you move aside so I can leave? And you would have got the same result, probably <laughs> even a better one. It's like, why is it the first reaction for people to just go and start screaming and yelling at somebody? Try something nice first. If that doesn't work, that should be the result of you not getting what you wanted after being a really cordial human being. It's a power trip. It's fucking crazy. It's just, you're a nobody, but then here's one chance to have something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some kind of recognition. Like, yes, your majesty, yeah. please. It's a, it's a flex, a, yeah. a weak flex at that. But it's just such a weird thing to do. I, I just never understand it. I'll never no, understand yeah, it. Yeah, I, I told that property managed too. I was just like, look, human to human, you're being a dick. And he says the same thing. I'm not a dick. You're a dick. <laughs> so, so I just said, you know what? I'm not the one that has my fucking panties in a bunch, all right? Yeah. And he turns around and walks away. Yeah. You know, and then so I go to to Dan and I tell him what what the fuck just happened. And he goes, "Oh, dude, he's gay." I'm like, "Oh shit, did I say something homophobic?" <laughs> 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 that's fucking hilarious uh, I, I mean it wasn't intentional yeah, you're yeah. just like looking at him stop being so fucking gay <laughs> <laughs> what what did you say to me because <laughs> at first I thought it was him having this power trip over some Asian guy thing uh -huh. because he keeps he calls the cops on Asian dudes a lot mm. wow. like all the other Asian well, tenants well, why can't he like... be gay and racist <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's both you know he's just the no, gay yeah. racist dude and a bunch of the Asian tenants did move out of that place mm. and then a friend of mine we know him he called me be like hey what's it like living there and i'm like dude don't I mean, yeah don't i mean he's not blah, blah, blah. i just told him what happened to me and then he calls me back later and he said he actually applied and then they denied them mm. wow and this is middle pandemic when they're desperate to get tenants yeah yeah, yeah. but because maybe his last name is kim uh -huh. or lee or some shit look at this ching chong trying yeah. to <laughs> fly here yeah. i'm sick of these ching -chongs. another friend of mine same deal she's trying to move to a place in culver city phone call was all nice it was great oh my gosh we're, we've been looking for tenants da, da, da. and she sends an application last name asian last name Oh, I'm sorry. It's it's, it's someone it's else already took it. Yeah. yeah, you could sue them for that shit easy though. Yeah, yeah like hard to prove though. You know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, prove these nuts, bitch. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'll prove that shit immediately, man. Well, let's get into the fucking topic of the day. Since the fucking mics weren't working in the beginning, anyways, <laughs> yeah. goddamn it, that's we so we gotta salvage it. We'll just boop up, boost up the gain on yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be ridiculous. But um, <clears throat> so people. People kind of wanted me to talk uh, about this situation just because it was a little weird. So um. 
Shang-Chi is pronounced. I found out. It's not Shang-Chi. Mm -hmm. It's Shang-Chi. Mm. Shang-Chi? No. Shang-Chi. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> Shang-Chi is, is coming out, right? And people are giving it glowing reviews so far. They say yeah. that the action is crazy. I heard it was Jackie Chan's stunt team. Wow. Okay. Oh. That's, that did the choreography. So it's, it's pretty fucking dope and legit. Yeah. But before its release, the main actor, and this is a guy that I've met before. Like you saw him on JK News. Uh, the main actor, Simu Liu. So I read this article. And it's kind of going over Twitter. It's going on Facebook. And he makes a very interesting statement, right? It says that we are not your experiments. We're a culture. We're all this other stuff. So in my mind, I'm like, well, what's happening with this release right now? Is did, did, did Disney say some racist shit? And I'm like, okay, what the fuck, right? So I read it. I'm like, oh, this experiment. I'm like, well, what does that mean? I go and I look at the original statement of what he said. It was, I forgot who the, the CEO's name is. Bob Iger. Is yeah, it Bob Iger? Yeah. yeah so yeah. Bob Iger, right? <clears throat> but he says this is this is going to be an experimental thing for us. And he was talking about <clears throat> the 40 45 day what theatrical release before it goes to the digital, right? Yeah. And what in the fuck does that have to do with him talking what's, about Asian? What's wrong people? with that? <laughs> well, because and so I'm like, okay, <clears throat> I met Simu, nice guy. What a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck if I met you or not. Yeah. He, he, this is a podcast. We're going to talk about it topically. And if he wants to have a conversation with later on, you can't. Bro, that was the most bitch made thing I've ever seen in my life. There are so many things that we have to deal with as Asian Americans right now where it's like real issues. People getting attacked on the street. <laughs> yeah. come, like, like, and then you take this. Unless you're a fucking dumbass or you're just an angry, angry, like closeted Asian anger person closet not isn't gay but closet as in your your fucking just you're just this <laughs> asian person up. that's just been bullied yeah. your whole life there's absolutely no way you would have taken that statement and misconstrued it as him attacking the asian community that's a reach at its finest that is right. the <laughs> fucking craziest reach i've ever read in my life yeah. and this is problematic too because shang chi shang chi already has great publicity people were excited for this fucking film yeah why did you have to do that yeah it doesn't make any sense and you're doing it to the fucking most powerful person in entertainment yeah <laughs> you're by the way the most powerful person i know like, right <laughs> in hollywood trying to put him in some kind of like woke space yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck and also to not even be even beyond that it's in a film that you're starring that's based with like a almost a full asian, full asian cast, cast. Yeah. yeah man choreographed by Jackie Chan stunt team. What the fuck are you complaining about? I mean, like what you're not getting the Cruella, you know, treatment. You're not getting the Black Widow treatment. You're not even getting, you know, like you're you're getting 45 days in the box office. Exactly. You know, to prove like, especially to prove to the world that how the pandemic is going. You know, that's all the experiment. Years. Yeah, that's the experiment. Because <laughs> people aren't going to theaters. Last weekend, I went to this shitty fucking movie called Reminiscence <laughs> at the fucking Chinese theater. It's 900 seat theater. There was four people in there. And this was opening day. Dude. Exactly. Exact. I mean, the pandemic changed kind of the landscape of how people consume yeah. movies, right? Mm -hmm. But why? Why? Because Reminiscence all free on HBO <laughs> Max, dude. Exactly. exactly. I just miss going to the theater. I picked yeah. the wrong fucking movie, you know? But it's like, hey, if they don't release it the same day on Disney Plus and they have it only in theaters, guess what, dude? Exactly, the money, man. man. It's for exactly. you. Exactly. Like, well, we're not experiment for me to make more money. Like, Dude, look. What at, is this? Look, I don't get the logic. Yeah. Look at how many movies during the pandemic went straight to like the streaming platforms. You know. Yeah. And so it's like, it, dude, 30, 45 days, whatever, is not an experiment because you're Asian. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's an experiment because of the landscape of this the the world right now. I mean, it's clear that that's what it actually meant. There is no other yeah. way. There's absolutely nothing in the rhetoric that shows that he's talking about Asian people being an experimental project in film. That what are you fucking talking about, like, guy? What is it even equating it to? Like the Tuskegee yeah. experiment? Like, they're not giving you fucking syphilis. Yeah. They're trying to see how much more money you can make. You know? And then just, just, the, just the level of fake woke snobbery yeah. in, his, yeah. in his little title was so obnoxious. Yeah. Like I said, just because we met doesn't mean that you're not going to get clowned on for doing sh you know, a disservice to the Asian community. This is a disservice to us. And I think what's happening in this case too, like he's kind of based his whole brand off of 
nobody finds Asian men attractive. I'm going to be the reason why people can see that Asian men can be attractive, that we can be on the screen. Why you? Who championed you? Yeah. Hey, bro. Maybe they don't find you attractive. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nobody finds your six pack attractive. Yeah. You fucking handsome fuck, dude. It's like he because he's already speaking like he speaks for all of us. Yeah, like no, don't it's speak like, for me. I, yeah. I, I've been perfectly fine. That's the thing, though, man. These days, so many people just want to be like a warrior of justice. You know, it's like yeah. any any opportunity that they think in their mind is an opportunity for them to be like woke and speak on something. This is a prime example of that. There was nothing yeah. to speak on. Just being like, you, you have an all Asian cast. You're on <laughs> Disney. Like people are liking what you got. It's helping Asians get put on the map. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> actually. Also, we are not your experiment. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? Why would you even interpret like that? It makes me almost feel sometimes like maybe he didn't interpret like that. But he's like, oh, this is a good thing because, you know, I'm the Asian champion. I got to make sure nobody talks shit about us. It's like you did such a big disservice. And the crazy thing is Bob Iger had to come out and say, oh, this is a miscommunication. Yeah. No. It's not a miscommunication. <laughs> you know, he's being an asshole. Yeah. He needs to apologize. You know, Bob Iker in his private thought like, what the fuck is this one tripping on right now? Yeah. What, what did I say? He reads the transcript. What, what did I say here? What, what is he talking oh about? Oh my gosh. I mean, it, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, why, man? Why? Because you're not going to get to go on the Golden Globe stage and have a speech because you're not going to get an Academy yeah. Award to have like your five minutes to say some shit. Yeah. You know, so you can say it right now. I mean, but what was the fucking problem? Dude, I swear to God, if he wins like some type of Academy Award, prepare to roll your fucking eyes throughout the whole thing. Yeah. I grew up as an unattractive Asian man. And so I got a six pack to show people <laughs> I can be fucked. Like, it's just, please, man, cut this shit out. We got real stuff that we have to deal with. And by the way, you, you can't say that about a film where you are the leading main character where yeah. everybody's hyped up for. The film didn't need you to do that. You make us look so stupid. It just irritating when what it does too when you kind of cry wolf about this stuff people who already have a negative opinion about asian people in general they yeah. just sink their teeth in even deeper yeah and it, it annoys me it's just so obnoxious what's the problem with it being an experiment anyway like what kind of fucking asian led cast from marvel do we have anyway exactly how is it in, not in one way or another some kind of experiment yeah, yeah yeah you know i mean as long as it's progressive right the yeah. fact that they're even willing to try it because it's like dude we've been fighting for equal representation in media here you go here's something where even when we get it we get shit like this yeah exactly yeah. it's exactly. like why can't why can't we just focus on the positive and celebrate the positive yeah and even in this case there was no negative there was no negative <laughs> <laughs> so wrong? i don't know what to say yeah. and like i'm so curious about people who read because i i saw the post right because i follow them i saw the post and i just see people below these fucking sheep Going in like, yeah, how dare they? You didn't even read Bob Iger's original <laughs> yeah. statement. How fucking dare you just take this guy's word for it yeah. and then just start bashing this company who, by the way, Marvel has been killing it on the representation side. We had a yeah. black Captain America, son. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, right. what the fuck are you talking about? If you want to talk about representation, look at the cast of fucking Marvel. I don't want to hear this Panther, shit. Black Panther, right? Black Panther. All black fucking cast. Hit. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. are you talking about? How was that not an experiment in its own right? Yeah. To see how well this was going to do. Right. Now they know the next one is going to be another billion dollar hit. Yeah. You know, this movie's not even out yet to the general public. Don't make it fucking sour for everyone before right. they get in. Right. Yeah. Right. But it was just a little just kind of like self servicey type of stuff. Because I genuinely believe he's a smart man and he should, he knows – if he read that and he was like, <clears throat> he's attacking Asian people. I'm like, bro, you're dumb as fuck. <laughs> yeah. You're not as smart as I thought you were. And, and let's not forget when we talk about like experiments. Look, Disney's a fucking major corporation at the end of the day. They're not yeah. a charity. They're yeah. not doing this <laughs> out of the goodness yeah. of their heart, right? Even if they do an all black cast, even if they do an all Asian cast, it still has to make the money for them to be like, okay, this works. We got I, something here. I also here. heard too, it's not even releasing in China because he made a statement saying, because, you know, Chinese people said he was ugly. <laughs> Damn, for yeah. real? Yeah, so yeah. they, you know, <clears throat> I think he's really fucking handsome, but I think it's based on Asian American standards because mm -hmm. the Asian standard of beauty is like that, you know, no pores, porcelain skin. Yeah. He doesn't have that. So <laughs> they interviewed a bunch of Asian people. They're like, oh, this guy's fucking ugly. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, that's some cold ass shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, so he got on his feelings about it. Uh huh. 
and said that, well, it's not for the Chinese audience anyways. Uh huh. So it's not playing in China. Oh wow. What? So that he, he just so <clears throat> he also lost a billion dollars potentially for Disney itself because he yeah, got so butt that, hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the? He, what, he just keeps running his mouth like <laughs> worse than like all the shit Brie Larson said. <laughs> yeah, like listen, I I'm known to run my mouth too, but listen, you're a Marvel character. Be quiet. Yeah. Like it's it's a good look for us. Yeah, look man. You you've doing. been you've been getting good publicity. Like people are reviewing it well. It seems like they like it. What's all, the problem here? Asian cast. Actually. <laughs> Actually, we are not your experiment. Yeah. Like, come oh on, gosh. guy. Like, what are you fucking doing, man? And it's also, too, it's like you got this film off of your previous work from playing a Korean person as a Chinese man. Yeah. You're pretty, you're pretty fucking good, dude. Are we going to be like, hey, actually, actually can't convenience? <laughs> yeah. He's actually, Chinese. This is my life. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't have a convenience stuff. Yeah. So why not give it to David so? Like, like nobody gave you shit for that. Like fucking relax, man. Enjoy your level of success. You're successful at what you do. You don't have to keep on trying to fight these invisible people to make yourself look better. You don't have to do that like it's, it's a sign of just being like not happy or depressed may i don't i'm not gonna say he's depressed but i i see in a lot of people when they're just not content or have any kind of gratitude going on in their life yeah. then they've got to find <clears throat> something to complain about some people just can't get out of their own way man you know <laughs> what i mean like they're their worst obstacle just, just stepping on a rake for <laughs> yeah, exactly yeah. and like you know as just just for people to understand it's like i'm not really like shitting on him like i'm not i don't have no personal feeling towards him but that statement right there as somebody who's been in this space for quite a while like it's annoying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, cause like I said, we have real issues. We do have a lot of films like in the past that have made Asian people look bad. And I see this gem and instead of celebrating it, he just, he just has to do one thing that says that services himself first mm. before the actual mission. So now it yeah. makes me think of him like, Oh, you actually don't care about the movement. You care about yourself. <laughs> you care about how you look, how people feel about you. It has nothing to do with being an Asian American and pushing the whole scene forward. If it's not praising you for pushing down the white man or pushing down media and all this other stuff, yeah. then there's really no purpose for it. It's like everything you're saying is driving eyeballs away <laughs> from watching. Right. Bro. Yeah, exactly. And it brings it towards you. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, what, what are you really doing here now? Like I said, I don't know if that's the case, but from seeing that type of statement on a film that's going to do a lot of like good. It's a little fucking irritating. Yeah. And we've yeah. seen this recently because in the next topic, we're also going to talk about there was like this little thing about Aquafina doing a black scent because she's also a part of the film. And it was on Twitter where this young Asian girl was like, How are we not going to talk about Aquafina doing a black scent and making a mockery of like black culture? And in my mind, I'm like, you know, she's like from like the Bronx or some shit. She's like from New York. What the fuck are you <laughs> talking Queens? about? Exactly, yeah. man. It's or like Queens, Queens. Yeah. yeah. It, it, in when you grow up in a certain environment and you're around the group of people who have the same type of accent, you have the well, same that's, accent. That's what I want to ask this lady who tweet because she's Asian. Uh -huh. I was like, why are you not writing this in fucking like Chinese? <laughs> Well, how fucking dare you with your white scent? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? How yeah. fucking dare you? Better fucking say the same shit in fucking Chinese and speak it to me in Mandarin or Cantonese or Fujinese. Yeah. I don't hear you. I, what, what are you talking about? Yeah. So you're just keep putting us into a smaller box saying we have to have a certain kind of We need speech. to be honorary whites, yeah. right? <laughs> we need to be honorary whites. It's like, bro, that's the whole fucking problem here with like Asians and their representation in media. Like we've always been this quiet, subservient, you know, we're at least perceived as, right? And then historically, you know, back in like the internment camp days with Japan and everything, it was like, we are the honorary whites. We're just a quiet, you know, behind the scenes type yeah. of people. It's like the fucking audacity of this girl. It's like, how do you not know? It's like, so what if I go to the UK, right? And I see this Asian person and she goes, hello. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I know. How dare you <laughs> yeah. speak What's the language of the imperialist, bro? <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't real. That, that's not how Asians talk. Yeah, like I, I, like, I swear to God, if somebody meets her in person, you better fuck, ni hao, you better do some shit like yeah. that. Because at this point, how do you not understand that you are a product of your environment? This is already said. And on top of that, too, we are on the internet. We're the we're in the age of the internet. There are people using Bay Area slang in Southern California. They're using right. it out in New York. Right. New, people in California are using New York slang. It's nuts. Yeah. Now, I, I had a Tong Singh who was um he, he grew up in India. Mm -hmm. His parents are missionaries. 
and he has an Indian accent and he's kind of a fuck. <laughs> so, uh, do, do, um, do you want to go eat, you know, some jajangmyeon? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like how it talks. You should have called him out. Like, what's wrong you with you? You should have called him out. Like, yo, bro, get out of here with that fake Indian. <laughs> that, yo, that's offensive as fuck, bro. You should you should have stopped him, bro. You should have wrote a tweet about him. Yeah. It's like, I'm so sick of these Asian people pretending as if they're f- they can speak Punjabi. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's the, he's the product of his environment. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Exactly. Spend his formative years there. What are you exactly. gonna say? Stop talking like that. Well, it's just it's just ridiculous. It's absolutely well, ridiculous. Look, man, there's there. It's a fact that's existed for the history of fucking mankind is that they're always idiots and crazy motherfuckers haters. out there. Haters, <laughs> that's like whatever. Some hater shit, dude. You know, like you know that she grew up in Queens, New York, and she's playing this character. It, it was her character that she played in Ocean's whatever. What thirty? Eight. Or, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Ocean's eight, right? Yeah. So she plays the girl from Queens, New York, who's who's playing, you know, doing the card shit. Yeah. Well, young lady, if you've been to New York and you see the card people, that's how they talk. This is what they do, whether they're black, fucking, well, you know, Puerto, Puerto Rican, Rican Asian, 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 don't matter. They all talk yeah. like that. So what the fuck are you talking about? This idea that you keep on trying to tell somebody what their identity is when you don't know their story is so fucking dumb dude the last chinese guy in the other ocean series didn't even fucking speak english <laughs> yeah, that's right <laughs> he just spoke straight up like yeah. chinese whatever and yeah. everybody just understood him and that was kind of the joke yeah, yeah but yeah. we didn't even know like we didn't really know what he was saying without the subtitles right guess yeah. what she's speaking fucking english yeah. <laughs> how about that yeah it's the craziest thing and like that's that was like virtue signaling to the max right but there was other people beneath her who are, you know, of all different cultures and ethnicities, right? Saying like, oh, well, he was like, I don't know where she's from, but I got to do my research real quick. Let me, let me see. And it's like, do your research. Who are you? Yeah. You what, a fucking detective woke over it's here, dude. Yeah. Shut the police. The, some people just need to see somebody like that person. I guarantee you, if somebody looks at her and says, shut the fuck up, she wouldn't say anything. No, it's it, absolutely but, obnoxious. But that's why they do it online. They're not going to ever call that shit out in person, bro. They don't got the fucking goal to do that, you know? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, I remember when I was first on the internet, right? Like, I was I was on YouTube, right? I would do my fucking videos, and I would, you know, just very heightened, ridiculous character because this these are the people that they wanted to see on the internet. Yeah. It was like a me times a hundred type of thing going on, right? And they're like, look at this guy pretending like he's black. It's like this is a black thing, like <laughs> you know. But lo and behold, you don't know that I grew up from Sacramento, right? right? Yeah. And what you hear is not what I hear, though. Right, it yeah. only became apparent to me after somebody mentioned yeah, it. Yeah, you gotta point it out, like, yeah. oh, this guy has an accent. Like, I'm like, what are you talking? About? I sound just like you, bitch. The yeah. fuck are you saying? You know, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, no, you don't talk like me. But that's not what I hear because it's what I grew up with. Yeah. So having to go ahead and deal with that because uh, Tim, uh, Tim Chantarangsu, the homie, he had to deal with that shit consistently all the fucking time. Yeah. But that's the thing, man. People who point that shit out, like online, even if you check them with facts, like, yo. Uh, so and so grew up in this area. That's how people. They don't say no. No, <laughs> yeah. people don't talk like that. Yeah. Asian people don't talk like that. So it doesn't matter what you got to tell them with like factual evidence. They're just gonna still be in their feelings about no. Like you know no. the homie uh, Danny Chung. Mm-hmm. He's from Philly. He has a thick ass Philly accent, dude. Yeah. Like the next time I see him, I'm gonna be like, you fucking phony, dude. <laughs> you are a fucking fraud, bro. Yeah. You but better. what's what's the What's the term in, term that you have where like black people in the workplace have to put on a white accent? It's like uh-huh. the code switching. Code thing. switching, yeah. right? Yeah. It's like then what is that reverse code switching? Saying hey, you you <laughs> must you have to sound whiter than that. You know? I was like, look at this guy getting rid of his black accent. Yeah. yeah. But even the idea that somebody has to tell somebody because they because they they call it hood shit, right? They're like, oh, hood shit's black people shit. So it was like all black people hood. Like even that's offensive, right? Yeah. The fact that they always try to put like, and we always talk about this, especially with, with my black friends, right? Like we've had these conversations too about people trying to make black people into one a monolith. Yeah. Like this is who you are. This is how you should speak. This is how you should behave. But who the fuck says who, right? And so when they when they deviate from this quote and thing that this young lady says, which is this black scent, which is something that a culture can be proud of, right? Because I know a lot of black people are proud of that shit, which is dope because, it's, you know, if that's what they do, that's who they are. Yeah. But if you deviate from that, they go, oh, you ain't black. Right? It's right. like that episode of Fresh Prince with uh, Carlton. Mm, Remember? Yeah, yeah. Where, when he joins the frat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. And he said, you're not black. Right. It's like, what do you mean I'm not black? Just yeah. because I don't talk the way that you do, because I don't dress the way that you suddenly, it changes the color of my skin, my yeah. heritage, and who, where I'm from. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't. The conversation is so, it's so old. It's so, it's corny. It it's is. It's fucking corny. It is. And you would think like, 
at this point in history in 2021 with the technology that we have you would expect people to be a little bit better educated and aware of like yes there are people who might look like you who have a completely different accent even yeah. if you're from the same country because they grew up in it like asians with southern accents right you, what, <laughs> hey y'all Hey, you don't fucking talk like that. Yeah. You don't talk like that. Dude, the Mississippi Chinese, have you seen right, that? Right, right, Yeah, right. dude. Amazing. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, they're like third generation Chinese. Their ancestor, ancestors, what, whoever before them, they went there way back, like what, some 50 to 100 years ago right. to set up business there. And now these straight up Chinese looking people yeah, have this dude. Southern accent. Yeah. And sometimes they still get like weird, you know, stereotypes yeah. taken to them. Yeah. That's how they talk. Yeah. No one's in the comments like she shouldn't be talking like that. You know, yeah. like yeah. no. Yeah. How is it so much easier to understand that because it sounds whiter, like really, really white? Yeah. You know, yeah. But what's the what's the deal? Yeah. Where's the line? Yeah. I I think too, it's like people in this country. It, it's it's weird, right? Because we're so like there's like such a cultural division because of how this country started and and, and like the apparent racism here. Because I know when you have people out in other countries, they kind of look at Americans as like, why do you guys always talk about race so much? Like yeah. they 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 kind of make fun of us about that stuff. Mm. Well, because our history is kind of just it's a little fucked up. Right? Yeah. But it gets to a point now, which is like now people are just weaponizing and using it in like the worst type of ways where literally when that young lady tweeted that shit out and she's an Asian American girl and she's attacking this other Asian American girl for absolutely nothing simply yeah. because she wants to look good people are gonna say the same thing it's like what are you doing to Simu then David <laughs> 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 sorry no it's like uh, what I what I think about when, when, we, when we're talking about this is you guys uh, are you guys aware of Uncle Roger yeah Nigel yeah. Nick right yeah. yeah the comedian and he does that that Chinese I, uh, I, uh, Uncle yeah. Roger thing you know but nobody's saying hey that's a everyone's like that's hilarious yeah because that's how asian people talk yeah. right so it's okay when it's in a community so that's the thing so if in oceans eight aquafina had this thick chinese immigrant accent you've been happy it was yeah is that better yeah or are they going to be more pissed exactly that she represented us that exactly way? yeah right and they, they kind of brought up this quote where she says like i will never do a character with a chinese accent and that's why she's like you're a hypocrite because you're doing a black accent i'm like that's that's <laughs> <laughs> that's apples and oranges neither here nor there what the yeah. fuck are you talking about dude yeah no, man I, my, people, yeah no my sister sent me a buzzfeed article and it was long and winded it was about linda dong linda d production oh the, the vietnamese girl yeah because she's big on tiktok now she already had a million followers on youtube then she moved jumped to tiktok but you, you can see the difference in youtube she has a lot of skits she's just being herself, like life like this, life like that, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But now on TikTok, though, she has a big character where she's just a straight Vietnamese immigrant, mm. right? And there was just all the, they said they sent her messages and DMs and she hasn't gotten back to us. Like, basically, why are you perpetuating this stereotype about Asian Americans? That's the why are you putting on this character? Because for a girl like that, too, the only thing she sees is like, this makes me popular, so I'm going to keep on doing it. Yeah. It doesn't matter if there's if there's like a detriment to our culture or whatever, right? And listen, I don't have a problem with Asian accents at all, to be honest with you. She's Vietnamese. If she wants to do a Vietnamese accent, she's Vietnamese. It's a part of her culture. It's a part of her life. Yeah. But for anybody who calls themselves a comic, who I'm pretty sure she calls herself a comic or she's a comedian, yeah. right? If I took that away from you, still funny? <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. that's the thing. It it did work for her on <clears throat> YouTube, right? It got her a million subscribers on YouTube. And I don't know why she went this route on, on TikTok, but that was probably the only way she was going to get so many followers on TikTok. Yeah. I could do a video. I could do videos on TikTok of me being a Korean dad. Yeah. That shit will blow the fuck up. Oh, yeah. It's so easy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. How come you don't get the straight A? <laughs> you know? I disown you. <laughs> Uh, Asian parents with negative reinforcement be like, yeah. you don't think anybody can think of these fucking corny ass ideas? It's, it's all hacky. Like we've seen it before. Hey, Asian, new Asian creators, can I ask a favor though? Can you just try and not be funny <laughs> without dressing like your mom? Yeah. Can you try? <laughs> just one video. Just try it out. What else you got in your wheelhouse, buddy? Yeah. Like, what yeah. else do you Let have? See. Let me see. What else do you have, right? Because yeah. I'm pretty sure there's like a thousand fucking Chinese, Japanese, fucking Korean creators out there that can't stop dressing like their fucking mom. Like, yeah. What the fuck is this shit, dude? Like, I get it. You do it a couple of times. Bart yeah. and Joe have done it. I've yeah. done it like once or twice in a sketch. Yeah. 
And but, then you can be self-aware to be like, this is kind of hacky. I've done, I'm, like, how much more can you do? Yeah, it's serves its purpose. Gonna, yeah, you're going to do regular American shit, but with an accent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this will get the views. Watch tomorrow I do a video as my mom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It, going back to the Uncle Roger thing, I wanted to touch on that too. Is uh, did you guys hear about the controversy that had happened between like Uncle Roger and Mikey Chen, the food vlogger? <gasps> I love Mikey Chen. Right. So when you think about Mikey Chen, you're like, this guy. I love this guy. He's so he seems so sweet and he seems like such a genuine guy, right? Yeah. But here's what happened. So they oh. did a collab together. Yeah. Right. And this was not too long ago, and Uncle Roger. As soon as he put up the vid, started catching flack from the Chinese community, right? Whether it be the government bots or actual Chinese people in China, because Mikey Mikey Chen's family practices Falun Gong in in China, which is kind of like I don't know if it's a religion, but it's it's something that they're persecuted for over there, just okay. like the Uyghurs, okay. right? And because of that, Mikey Chen has spoken against kind of like. China, the government, and like the human rights. Not speaking against the people, yeah. the government, right? He's been very vocal about that. And because of that, he's not so popular in China. But Mikey Chen doesn't go, give a fuck. He just does him. He's like, yeah, hey. I'm in America, bitch. Yeah, well, yeah. not only that, but it's like, hey, we don't hurt people. We just practice what we practice and believe what we believe. Why are people getting persecuted for that? I don't understand that. That's basically the extent of his, like what he says on that. And so what Nigel did was he immediately removed the video and then he apologizes to the Chinese community, pandering to them. Right. Because he knows a lot of his viewership is coming from China. Uh, so he pulled a yeah. John Cena. He pulled a John <laughs> Cena. Exactly. Right. So there's kind of that too of like when we talked about China being like a billion dollar territory, right? Yeah. Potentially pandering to that, knowing that, you know, the government there is doing shit like that. But when you get, when, when there's a slight on kind of like, you know, the culture or the people there, then it's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Let me, let me, let me fix this. And so, yeah, Nigel took it down and Mikey commented on it. Just like, yeah, this is basically what happened. That's why it got taken down. I got no hard feelings against Nigel. I understand. Like he has a lot of fans from there. He needs to do what he needs to do. But for me, I still feel the same way. I'm not going to stop speaking about it. And I just want yeah. people to have equal rights in China. That's all. And people mistaken that for I hate China. He's like, I grew up in China. I was born in China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Chinese. I just want my people there just to have equal rights, right? Yeah. 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 So that's kind of the whole situation. But yeah, pandering to kind of China and that's the same yeah. shit that happened to Jack Ma. Jack Ma said some shit uh, about like the Chinese government, <laughs> like some slight shit, and then they shut his ass yeah, exactly. down Disappeared here, man. for months. Disappeared for months, and they I thought he died. Because they've yeah. done that shit where they yeah. literally killed people off. Yeah. yeah. And you're know, like multimillionaires and billionaires, right? Yeah. Like yeah. people who are very well known and they just fucking disappear. Yeah. And so Jack Ma, you're talking about a guy who could give a fuck less. Like yeah. he was asked, Jack Ma was literally asked at a conference, what do you feel about your company, Alibaba, stealing patented material from other companies? Like, how do you deal with this? He goes, I don't care. <laughs> you know, he's like, I'm not even sure if he has an accent like that, but I'm doing it now. He goes, I, I, I don't care. You know, he, he literally said, you can sue me for whatever you want. I'm going to make twice as much as what you sue me for. Mm, yeah. And it's true. It is. That's yeah. how gangster this fool is. He yeah. says something bad about like the CCP. Yeah. And all of a sudden he goes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was the thing. There was a kind of a string of Jack Ma getting more and more emboldened because nothing was really happening when yeah. he would say something. And then I think there was a line where it's just like, oh, okay, you motherfucker, you want to play, huh? Yeah. Well, because he's making billions of dollars for the country. Right. You know, so right. they, they weren't going to yeah, say that's anything. why I think that he got more of a pass than most people would, right? But then even with somebody like him, you get, they draw the line of like, hey, man, let that's me fucking crazy, tell you. Though, like, it's crazy how oppressive that country is where Nigel Ng, who's a, who's a comedian, he's a stand-up comic. Yeah. He can't even say his shit. It's yeah, like, dude, bro, you're bro. in the wrong country, bro. Fucking move to the United States, man. Hey, Nigel, come here. Look, look, my say whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> well, I mean, he's in the UK. <laughs> you know? Oh, is he? Yeah, he's in the UK, bro. Then why the fuck you tripping? He's, no, no, no. Not, he's not even in the UK. He's Malaysia? Like in, Mal Indonesia, I think. Indonesia. Indonesia, I okay, think. Okay, well, that kind of yeah. makes sense then. Yeah, something like that. But I mean, even still, well, actually, no, he is in the UK, right? I, have he's, no I think from I know who he is. Indonesia, but I think he's based in the UK, in the UK now? now. I think so. Right. Whatever the case, I mean, you're he not probably in flies back and forth too. It's like yeah. a huge thing. Uh, yeah. yeah, but whatever the case is, it's like, bro, come on, crazy man. Chinese, have, man. Yeah, have a little like self-respect. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, if you 
I mean, people have asked me about Nigel Ng like all the times. Like, what do you think? Because it's half and half with Nigel Ng, right? Oh, is it Ng, not Nig? No. <laughs> <laughs> <It's not. laughs> Nigel Ng. Okay, Nigel. So, yeah. So, I've been just pronouncing his name this time. So, why does people keep on like abbreviating the N word? <laughs> <laughs> Nigel Ng. I only know this because there was a girl named Christina Ng in my church. Right. It was like half Chinese, oh, half okay. Korean. Okay. But Nigel Ng, like people have a half half opinion about him, right? In the Asian community. They think that he's like the Asian minstrel guy. Like he's right. over here just playing this fucking Asian accent all the time. Yeah. And it's his Uncle Roger character. Because honestly, that Uncle Roger character is like a character that Asian American comics have played for fucking 30 years. Mm, it's it's pretty yeah. dated, yeah. you know? But for some reason, people watch it now and they're like, oh, this is some new shit. Because like, it's new to Gen Z. Ah. I think it's been missing for a good decade or so. And, right? Yeah, and I think the hook too is that it revolve, revolves around fried rice. Like yeah. he has a thing with like just, <laughs> yeah. you know, criticizing. I'm the guy. Like yeah. he's, he's a stand-up comic. He, he's beyond just that character. That yeah. was just his his claim to fame. He does way more stuff than that. That guy's actually, his stand-up's pretty fucking funny, by the way. Mm. Um. You know, so people feel a little dicey about him when it comes to his content. You know, I he actually has an accent. He actually has a Chinese accent. He just heightens it a little more. Right. Like I when he speaks English, mm. he actually does kind of talk like this. Like he actually has it slightly there. Mm. So I'm like, you can't knock on this dude. This guy's from Asia. He talks like that. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, and if you people are enjoying it and it's a majority Asian audience that's enjoying it, then whatever. So English is still his second language. Yeah. Pretty much. First yeah. or second. I'm I, I think in Asia it's it's a first language for him, but it's still accented, like right. I, because I, he has a podcast. I'm like, oh, he has an accent. Yeah, he has a a, a British accent too. So yeah. it's like kind of you know this it's, it's just funky little smash with it's a just hodgepodge yeah. of just yeah. fucking weird shit. Yeah, I, li- I fucking like the guy. You know, like I, he's like the the his character, the Uncle Roger thing. I don't find funny at all, mm. but his other stuff is funny. Yeah. I mean, it's the same heat that Linda's getting, but. It's like, are you going to give that up if you're seeing thousands of dollars coming right, into your pockets? Exactly. Well, she's right. not. I mean, like yeah. like for her too, she found her niche. She's not going to yeah. stop doing it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how strong her resolve is if she's able to respond back. Clearly, she has nothing to say because she probably feels that way about herself. Yeah. Like I was supposed to be this content creator that created like the next level for Asian people, but I'm just doing a Vietnamese accent and there's a bunch of white people laughing at me. Yeah, like yeah. what are you? You know, that's that's the hard part, right? Right. It's she's got to she's got to go to bed every night with that. Right? Exactly. Or, or if there even is that thought, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. It could just be like, oh, this is working for me. All right, I'm gonna keep milking this. Like I said too, I fucking love. I think accents are fucking hilarious. Like when people do accents, it makes me laugh. But it's it's in the context of what they're doing it for mm-hmm. and how it's done. Is it an inside joke that we know about? Yeah. Or is it you just doing the accent just be, just to get any type of laugh possible? It's yeah. like. Are you doing the ching chong, ching chong, but the Asian version of it, right? Because like I said, I, I use accents all the time. I've done it in my stand-up for fucking years, but it's about stuff that I grew up with and then it's few and far between. But if you take the accent out of my my stand-up set, I'm still good. Yeah. I still got 90% of my material, isn't that? <laughs> no, that's the, the thing about the kind of comics and even what I respect about you is that you don't have to be Asian funny. You can just be fucking funny. Yeah. You know, you don't need any of that. It's, it's not a fucking anchor for you. You know, Kim Jong Ila, you did it what three times? Yeah, you know, like you, it's not oh, like a real thing. That yeah. forever that doing. slap in the face, that shit, yeah. <laughs> that shit, the slapping in the face. It's always been there, bro. <laughs> I know. Again, we, it all ties back to the. I can't stop slap. slapping people, man. <laughs> slapping in the face, it's like my shit. Even when he's joking, he's slapping people in the face. I know, dude. It, <laughs> tried and true, bro. My first martial art, dude. <laughs> well, guys, that wraps up this episode of the Genius Brain Podcast. We hope you enjoyed the episode. The double ed episode it was yeah. fan fucking tastic i deliver and they are here you can find ed at ed park vp you can find that ed yeah <laughs> that ed. you can find this ed ed drick at ed Two everywhere else and remember if you can see the shirts the hat cop secret society uh secret society is a clothing brand that we started it's a uh, fashion basics for everybody it's honestly the shit that i wear all the time because people just don't make clothes i want to wear so <laughs> here we go that's what we got so we'll see you all next time Peace. Peace. Peace.